Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study a very important derivation which is related with the pressure increase when wall is suddenly closed and pipe is elastic of material. Let's see the derivation for the pressure increase in water hammer effect when pipe is made up of elastic material. As we all know, pipe is made up of elastic material. It means that some of the energy will get stored in elasticity due to elasticity in the pipe. So we are going to consider various points related with elasticity of the pipe. First of all, let us revise some concepts in strength of material in which elasticity of pipe is considered. We will start with strain energy. Strain energy when we consider pipe material, say this is a pipe, this is the longitudinal direction and this direction is called as lateral or transverse direction and stresses generated in the wall of pipe are say sigma L, L stands for longitudinal stress which is in this direction along the length like this and circumferential stress which is along the circumference I am showing the direction of stress in three dimension this is the direction of circumferential stress. So total energy stored is due to increase in circumferential stress as well as increase in longitudinal stress. So for that purpose when we are considering mutually perpendicular directions because circumferential direction and longitudinal direction are mutually perpendicular to each other. So in that case we have to introduce a coefficient mu is equal to 1 upon m because now the stresses are having mutually perpendicular planes. So to calculate total stresses we will require some concepts in the strength of material like this. So in strength of material we have calculated circumferential stresses as well as longitudinal stresses. So formula for longitudinal stresses is P d upon 4 times t where p is pressure d is dia t is thickness of pipe and longit sigma c circumferential stresses can be calculated as p d upon 2 times t so p d upon 2 t and p d upon 4 t are respectively the formulas for circumferential as well as longitudinal stresses which are generated in the pipe material and relation between them with total stresses can be calculated as Poisson's ratio. So Poisson's ratio is mu which is nothing but the 1 upon m instead of mu we can also write 1 upon m for metals mu is almost equal to 0 0.25 or 1 divided by 4. So these are the concepts from strength of material which are going to be used in derivation as follow. Firstly, circumferen circumferential stresses is equal to longitudinal stresses is equal to sigma L is equal to PD upon 4T. So strain energy store
in pipe walls can be calculated as 1 upon 2e into sigma resultant square but sigma resultant is resultant of longitudinal and circumferential stresses so sigma l square plus sigma c square minus 1 upon m times sigma c square so we will have formula as 1 upon 2e p square d square upon 16 t square plus p square d square upon 4 t square minus p square d square upon m into 4 t square now we can put the value of m as 1 upon 4 so m is equal to 1 divided by 4 hence 1 upon 2e this is 16 this is 4 this 4 into 4 will become again 16 so this 16 and this 16 will get cancelled the remaining term will be p square d square upon 4 t square so totally it will become p square d square upon 4 into 2 8 8 e into t square total strain energy in pipe material is nothing but the total strain energy per unit volume multiplied by volume of pipe so volume of pipe means if we are considering this pipe this is the section of pipe between 1 and 2 so we will have formula total strain energy in pipe material as strain energy per unit volume multiply by volume but volume in our case is nothing but this shaded portion multiply by this length l so we will have formula as p square d square upon 8 e t square into pi d t into l so it will become p square d cube into pi into l divided by 8 into e into t so it will be we know that pi by 4 d square is nothing but the formula for area so we can introduce area in this formula so p square a into d into l divided by pi by 4 hence this is 2 into e into t this will be the relation for total strain energy in the pipe material okay so this is the strain energy which is only in material not in water so we can write down strain energy in water as one half mv square we know one half m is nothing but the rho into a into l into v square we can also calculate gain in strain energy in water as one half t square upon k into volume so one half p square upon k into 
volume is a into l so now we have total relation whatever is the loss in energy that is due to excessive amount stored in another location so we will equate loss equal to the gain so we will have formula as loss in kinetic energy of water due to sudden closure is equal to gain in kinetic energy of water plus strain energy stored in pipe so total gain is equal to total loss by putting formula we can have one half rho a l v square is equal to gain in ke of water is nothing but the one half p square upon k into a into l strain energy stored in the pipe is p square a dl upon 2 et in this case we have this one half as common thing we can cancel it out area as common thing we can cancel it out length as a common thing we can cancel it out finally we will have rho into v square is equal to this p square p square can be taken as a common p square 1 upon k plus d upon et we are interested in calculating pressure that is value of p so this whole term this whole term can be taken to the opposite side so we have p square is equal to rho v square divided by 1 upon k plus d upon et so p as under root of all the things so v square become v upon instead of writing this i can write v into under root of in the sign of this under root this will be rho this rho divided by in square bracket 1 upon k plus d upon et okay so this is the relation for pressure increase when pipe material is elastic having its elasticity as k and d of dia of pipe d T is nothing but the thickness of the pipe. That's all. Thank you.